So this is one of these um, chisels. It's called a, a flanger uh, uh, dongle. Do I have any broccoli in my teeth? Yeah. You can't beat a flanger donger. Your two French teeth are very large. <laughs> oh, David, this is a fine vintage. Then come on over and have a, <laughs> a coffee. Yeah. That's so irritatingly cute. Or what are you charismatically <laughs> challenged? Or... Charmingly useless. So one of Art Resin's favorite um, places to go is Exotic Woods. And last time we went there, we saw this beautiful piece of wood and Dave immediately thought this would be amazing for a clock. I'm not going to teach my kids how to use this type of clock. You know, I why? Why would you? That's like not teaching them cursive handwriting. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, times change. <laughs> what used to be before cursive? Or what used to be, like, writing's just evolved. But it's times. not even writing. Times change. Yeah. Oh, a pun. <laughs> Speaking, it's time to start. Oh. <laughs> Get it? I do. <laughs>
if it was easy, then you know, you buy a manual, go buy a pre-made kit where it tells you all the steps, mm -hmm. wipes your butt for you. Okay, three, two, one, and we're drilling. So, all I'm doing here is making a guide hole. This is a guide hole. Put this over top, and that will start the hole so that so that we're not on an angle, right? We're not drilling like that, we're not drilling like that. It gives it some stability too, you're so smart. Yeah, So and that's very important because of this, right? That's gotta stick out perfectly straight. Otherwise, you know what they say, you're, uh, you're behind in the times. <laughs> Thanks. I love this. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. All right, there's no time like the present. Oh. And it begins. You gotta think of some more puns. Okay? <laughs> All right, tick tock. Let's uh, go. Is that good? Fun? Hey guys, welcome back to our clock project here. So, last time Dave and I uh, decided where we're gonna put the face of our clock, and we got started drilling the hole all the way through to the back. And that's where the body of our clock mechanism is gonna go. So, to continue. To continue, I think it's time to take on the next <laughs> part. <laughs> so the next thing we have to do is we want to have this um, clock mechanism stick up only that tiny bit over the top. So I'm just eyeballing it from the side. Joanne, if you could just draw a line along the base of that. Please. Why did we draw that line? Uh, so we know exactly how far down to drill yep. so that we can sink this to the right height. So we need to cut out a big piece in the back that is this shape, right? Right. So I'm just gonna roughly draw this shape. We'll make it bigger so that we can get our fingers in there. And then this is a Faustner bit. So it's for making nice circle holes. Let me just find this thing. There it is. So it's very time consuming, Dave. I know, sorry, there we go. <laughs> oh, that was a joke. So we, we know exactly where or how far down we need to drill. And the reason for that is because when this clock mechanism sits in there, the tip is gonna protrude out the front. And this little tip here is where our minute and our hour hands here are gonna sit. So we'll be able to tell the time. And the good thing about a drill press is you can drill down to a certain point and then it stops, right? So when it stops, that means we know that we're not gonna drill too far and come out the other side. Okay, so now we can drill knowing that we won't go all the way through our beautiful piece of willow. Let's do that outside. Where are some other funny puns? <laughs> well, how about I hold it in place and you do the spinning? Okay. Let's make that our first hole. Okay. So I'll hold it, I'll jam it against this. How do we turn this baby on? Oh, like that? Okay. Yep. Give her. And it's only gonna go. As... Oh. <laughs> oh crap, it's gonna take forever. I have to tighten this thing. Ready? Give her. Here we go, one more time. Please just work. Oh, perfect. There you go. So I'm just gonna keep going as far as I can crank it. Yes, until you can't move it anymore. <laughs> All right, still got a ways to go. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready? Um, I'm no time like now. <laughs> yes, good one. <laughs> almost there, almost there, touch more. All right, that's it, you made it. Well, it took us a few minutes, but we drilled our hole out in the back here, our four circles, and uh, let's go inside and see if our clock mechanism fits inside. Come on, guys. I gotta hand it to you, Joanne. You really uh, impressed Thanks. me. <laughs> and I was trying to face my fears of the drill. Oh, good. Let's see if this works, everyone. The moment of truth. Ooh. Perfect! Yeah. And the front? Yeah, and the front. Yeah, we just need the white part to be sticking up. So yep. this is actually the hour hand, and look, that's too long. And this is actually the 
minute hand, and oh, that's the second hand. Oh, but that's good hand. though. Works but out perfect. where do we want to cut these? Yeah? Yeah. Are we happy with this? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is to make these a little more industrial looking, we're going to sand off the white. Yeah. Just and just snip them with the... Uh, and snip them. Snips. I'm actually going to get snipped. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> Moving on. Why don't you take these tin snips and just cut along the line. Okay. And I'm going to go get some sandpaper. How do you make metal look aged? I don't know how you make it look aged. I guess you can put stuff on it. Or do you like let it soak in water? Or yeah. Should I leave a bit of white? Or just like look at that so it looks So like... it's kind of distressed? Yeah. You can do that. Okay. So what we're doing is just marking off where our quarter hour increments are going to be here. Yep. Um, minute hand, we'll center this in the center of this. Mm -hmm. And then at the tip, you can draw a line that way, and that's the exact point, center point of something. So we have marked these uh, four spots, mm -hmm. and we're gonna drill a hole with this bit in each one of them, just down maybe an inch or something. Mm -hmm. And then we have a wooden chisel. We're gonna chisel and turn these circles into squares. So we'll have four squares that we'll do something exciting with. This is our chisel. It's kind of a 90 de degree angle, so we're gonna tap it twice into the uh, circle to make a square hole. Just like the pioneers used to do. That's right. Once they plugged in their <laughs> yeah. drill press. <laughs> okay, drill a hole. All right. But not very deep though, right? Oh yeah, give her. Just give oh, her. Oh, just give her. More. More? Why not? Are you crazy? Okay, that's good. So this is one of these um, chisels. It's called a, a flanger uh, uh, dongle. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just going like that, and I'm making corners. Look at that. What do you always say, Joanne? You can't beat a flanger longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that one. Oh. That was a two banger. <laughs> a two banger flanger donger. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave, I think it's break time. So, look at what we've done today. Awesome. We drilled a big hole in the back, or a four holes to make a big hole in the back for our clock mechanism. And then we drilled our 15 minute increments here. And the next step is going to be a pre-seal, giving a real thin coat of art resin just to prevent any bubbles. And well, we'll sand it first to take this oh, off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, sand first. Oh, and we sand. also cut the uh, letter, the, the, the arms and yes. sanded them too. That's right. We did a lot today. We wow. did a lot today. Yeah. Break time for sure. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Tune in next time. See that? <laughs> yes, I did. I did. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I have to come up with some more some good ones. puns. I can only think of like just five wait. o'clock. Just you wait. Oh, just wait. Is that upper? I wasn't even trying. <laughs> oh, I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so TikTok, Joanne. <laughs> TikTok. Here we are, back with our clock, and uh, we're gonna do a couple of things today. First, we're gonna sand it. We're gonna get off this writing here. We're gonna get off our, our face template. So we're gonna give it a nice quick sand with the belt sander. Belt sander. Belt sander it is. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do a pre-seal with our art resin. We have it here all ready to go. And uh, yep. what's the pre-seal for, Dave? Well, good question. That's because some wood still has some moisture and some stuff going in there, still breathing a bit. And if we were to do a full coat, there's a chance that the wood could still be releasing some sort of air or something and could create bubbles in it. So a nice, really thin pre-seal will just stop that first, It'll stop any bubbles from coming up, and then we'll do the final coat and then we'll uh, be able to tell the time. Like <laughs> they used to. That's right. Okay, here we go, Joanne. Alrighty. Hold your breath, close your eyes, it's gonna get dusty. Okay, I'm ready. Look at that. Woo. All right, that's gotta be enough. Okay. Okay, time to resin. Was that a joke and a dance? <laughs> it was. So Joanne's heading downstairs to get some compressed air. So we can, just to get all the dust out of all the little grooves and stuff. And in the meantime, I'm gonna tell you some clock stories, right? So, when they were building Big Ben, you know the huge tower in London, Big Ben, the clock? They called us, this was way back in the 40s, I think. And they said, we're looking for a resin that's super clear and non-toxic. 
because they were concerned about their workers, the unions were coming and everything. And I said, if you're building a clock and you need resin, you should use art resin because it's uh, no VOCs, non-toxic, don't have to wear a respirator, and it has the best non-yellowing performance. So, um, and I was like, why well, call it Big Ben? And it's actually, Ben is the guy that used to own the little plot of land that they built Big Ben on, and he was actually really small. But they called it Big Ben because he said, if you're gonna build a clock here, you have to call it, name it after me, but I wanna be remembered as someone important. Any questions? What's the plan here? Just pour it and rub? Or do you want to just stand it and just use gloved hands? Let's just do that. So here we go. Gloved hands. Yep. You do the honors, please. Okay. So look at that. It's the best part. Isn't this fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at that. How does it make the wood look? Look at that. I know. Oh, beautiful. So pretty. So you just see all the different grains. Yeah. You see all the... Just, it glows. Texture. And it stays like that. So you could actually keep this clock outside. You could. No one tells time like this anymore. I know, it's true. It's time to bring back the old times. Wow. That was a double time. Everyone catch that? That was really good too. <laughs> and I can see there's already some bubbles popping up here, eh Dave? Oh yeah. You know what that means. It's off gassing. Yes. But we're not gonna worry about torching it right now, right? For these bubbles no. because... Yeah, we'll just sand and uh, then do our final coat necessary so this is it's a good thing that we did this first pre-coat so we yeah. might have to, we might have to like just re-drill through there yeah okay high five high five <laughs> yeah <laughs> until next time guys yeah we'll see you uh see catch, you, uh, catch you next time okay, catch okay. You. <laughs> great to be back it's about time it is <laughs> right, right off, off right off I the know. bat <laughs> um, i know time flies when you're having fun where are we? We're back here again, and we did our first coat to just kind of seal it so that we stop any off-gassing from happening because it's wood, so it's basically alive, so that'll stop bubbles, and kind of seal it so, sealed it so we don't lose a lot of resin just soaking right in. That's right. So now what are we doing? Today what we're going to do, we're going to do two things today. We're going to fill in our holes here with some silver um, resin tint yes. and then there's some spots here that didn't take the resin. Mm -hmm. Now don't get ticked off if you see Whoa, this. Oh, that, that's a new <laughs> one. <laughs> We're going to fill these in with clear resin just in these little craters and holes mm -hmm. here in the wood, the natural formations in the wood that didn't take the resin. Okay, great. So let's get mixing. We already poured our resin and our hardener here. We did. Wait a minute. What? Did you catch that? I did it again. Clear resin first, right? We're gonna fill in our holes first. Yes. With clear resin. And then once we've done that, we're gonna add the silver resin tint. Exactly. To the remaining amount, yeah? yeah. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> Can't wait to watch. <laughs> oh, oh, watch. That was a good one. Um, do you think people will get annoyed with all of our puns? Yes. <laughs> Thoroughly mixed for three minutes. What do you want to talk about for three minutes? Um, I don't know, we could tell jokes if you want. You have one? I do have one. Okay, cool. What does a clock do when it's hungry? Mm, I don't know, what does it do? It goes back for seconds. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was good, yeah. <clears throat> Anything else? Um, what did oh, one, you do have more. I do. Wow, you came prepared. <laughs> wow. What did one clock say to the other clock? I don't know. You're really ticking me off. Oh, I should have known, yeah. Um, daylight savings time? Oh, yeah. It's interesting. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and uh, and do those uh, voids there? Okay, and it doesn't matter if it runs over, right? Because no, we're going to sand yeah. it down anyway. We're going to belt sand this. We're going to sand it. Okay. So while Joanne finishes up, I'll talk to you about resin tint. So take a look at that. See, this is silver, so there's set sediment at the bottom and then the uh, oil, it's an oil-based product. So if you want to mix it in, there's a little ball bearing in here. The, the tip is you, you loosen the cap a tiny bit to let some air in, and then you shake it. Oh. And that makes so a world smart. of a difference. You hear that ball bearing? So now, perfect, beautiful. I'm going to put a bunch of silver in here. I'm gonna put a lot. So I'm just mixing that in there, and that's good enough, I guess. So now I'm just, we're just gonna fill up these holes. Ah. 
That's so cool. Let's start with 12 o'clock okay. and move around the clock. Oh, what's that one song about clocks? Dancing around the clock tonight? Rock around the clock? Rock around the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let's uh, think of clock songs or time songs. Oh, Coldplay has that song clocks? called Clocks. You're right, yeah. Hmm, what Doesn't else? Doesn't share how that song. If I could turn back time. Ooh. <laughs> So that's way too much, but we're gonna belt sand all that off, and uh, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, super cool. <gasps> that was my next one. Oh, huh? Time after time. Who sang it? Cindy Lauper. Yeah, Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay. I think we're done here. Let's hand it over to uh, our sponsor. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> until next time. Until next time. Uh, stay on top of the time. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> Puns are hard. I know. <laughs> All right, we're back for clock for the clock uh, part. Uh, Where are we on? Three, three, three four. What are we gonna do today? That's what I wanna know. Yeah, good question. Well, today's gonna be an easy day because we are just gonna sand the heck out of this. Yep. And then resin, hopefully that's the final resin coat. Yep, and that's in pre preparation for putting in the clock mechanism in the back yep. that we're gonna do next time after it cures. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how these turn out. Our uh, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock squares. Yeah. Okay, so we got our belt sander, we're plugged in. Where's the button? Trigger. Yeah. Okay. Meow. Beautiful. What do you think, Dave? Looks good, eh? I think it's great. All right, so what have you done here, Joanne? We've taped off the bottom because we don't want any uh, pesky drips, so that's gonna help with that. Yeah, it'll make our life so much easier. Yes. And we belt sanded down the face. We also, pre-leveled everything. That'll do her. We did the math too. Dave did the math. Yes. Face one. it, Dave, I can't do math. Face it, face it. Face it. Face it. <laughs> we, uh, one square foot is four ounces of art resin, so that's two of resin and two of hardener. This is more than one square foot, but we're just gonna do a square foot because... We can. We can. Give her. We're gonna stir for three minutes. Oh, that's so nice and liquidy. I know. Mm. Be sure to scrape the sides and bottoms as you go. I'm gonna stop doing clock puns. I feel like people are getting annoyed. Really? Yeah, look at them. Are you? I'm sorry. All right, I think that's good. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, so we're gonna attempt to just push the resin right to the edge uh, instead of just letting it run over the side. It might run over the side, but we'll just do our best. Alrighty. No time like now. <laughs> That was not, I didn't mean to do that, I was just saying. <laughs> okay, so we're ready to torch now, but I just wanted to point out, we are getting a few drips. We are totally not even worried about this edge here because Dave is going to um, saw it off, right? You're going to... Yep, just run it through the table saw yep. when everything's done. And then there are, and then we're just kind of rubbing drips in here, if there are any. All the curves and everything in the wood will hide any any imperfections in our resin job on the sides, we're not worried about that. Yeah, and they're probably just gonna run right down anyway, right, and level out. We're not gonna have big pools of them or anything, so. That's right, okay, girl. Okay, here we go. This is always the best part. Yeah. Look at that grain, oh my lord. Awesome, girl. Is that enough? Yeah, let's cover it and get out of here. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. See you next time, little clock. So what do we have left? All we have to do is we're so close now, yeah. can you believe it? Cut the bottom, drill out the middle part and put in the hardware and then just enjoy it. And then tell the time. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. <laughs> Give me a Terminator line. It's time. Thank you that. No, that was, oh God. Let's just go. We're back here with our final finished clock and look how beautiful it is. I love art resin on wood. It just makes it look so, so, so beautiful. Yeah, but the pro problem is I don't really, it takes so long to read what time it is. Because <laughs> like, look at you have to say that's number six. No, how do you do this? 
don't know what time is it? it I think it's like 25 to 5. I don't know, like that's 3, 4, like oh, no. 5. Anyways, it looks for great. For smart people. Yeah, you don't actually, it's very, yeah. And you don't actually need to use it as a clock. It just looks like you're really smart. Exactly. Yeah, and then you say, I made it myself and it was easy, right? So you're crafty and smart. Yeah. Creative and smart. Yeah. So the last steps were really easy, just picking all the tape off of the back. Just use an X-Acto knife to get under there. Did you get that? I did. And then re-drilled the center hole just to get rid of all the epoxy that had hardened in there. And made it nice and clean. And then just ran it through the table saw to make the perfectly flat bottom. I love that smell. Mm-hmm. Mmm, delicious, eh? And you can actually see the how thick the resin is now right on the side, which is kind of neat. Then we took our uh, clock mechanism here and you can see we just placed it in the back in that hole that we'd made and we lined up our um, second and minute and hour hands here and then just fit the whole thing in. Looks beautiful. It was hard. Did those pants, did you ruin them from <laughs> working so hard? I know, from hard labor. <laughs> did you or you bought them? I like bought that. them. Yeah. So, so Dave, yeah. I really think we deserve a hand for this clock. It looks awesome. Low clap. <laughs> yeah, I guess my final words are I never really thought about time and like, what is time? Oh wow, that's getting pretty deep now. It's kind of existential. I don't know. <laughs> what is time? Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> if you know, comment below and, and thanks for watching. And Duran, that was, that was great. It's second to none. It's second to none. I'm done, I'm spent. Next time on, um, on Dave and Joanne Make Something, <laughs> We are going to make a... You'll have to watch and see. Oh. Oh. <laughs>